So now that we have the data, we've graphed it, we, we want to create a very simple slide or infographic. We're not going to, I'm not, this, this is using Google presentation similar to Gar Reynolds just to make a, a visual data representation. So in my Google Drive, I went to Drive, I went to my, I've selected the folder that I've made for my project. It's very good to get used to creating project folders and putting your information, your date, all your material in one folder. So here I have this, the form and the response. I've also found two photos of peeps, one blue, one yellow, and I've uploaded them from my computer. I went to this upload file and I had saved them on my desktop. And what I did was I clicked on this and I opened and it, what it did, it uploaded them to this file. So all my, my content is in one place. The next thing I want to do, I'm make sure I'm on my project folder and I go to create, I'm going to make a presentation. And we're not going to really make a presentation, I'm really just making a slide. So keep, keep the simple template and always title it, you click on the words untitled. And then, then now I'm going to bring in, click on insert, but I don't have the, ch the chart is in a spreadsheet. So let's see. Oh, I can't get it from here. So it's not. So what I need to do is I need to go back to. Let me close that. The response. And I'm going to find the pivot table sheet down the bottom. And here's the two charts that I have. One is the percents, and the other is the graph, um, or the chart, the bar chart. This little drop down. Now I could publish it, and when I publish it, it gives me an HTML code. Now because that, if I put that in my blog, which takes HTML, or if I put it on a Google website, then it would be live. So when people fill it out, it automatically changes that graph. But because I'm using a presentation, it's not HTML and it's not going to work. So I'm not going to use the published live version. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to, I can either save this as an image or I could just copy the chart. So let's do this. Let's save it as an image. And what it does, it sends it down here to my computer. Let me show it in the folder. It went to my downloads folder. I'm actually going to draw it, drag it to my desktop so I know where it is. And in my project folder, I'm going to upload it. So I'm going to click this upload button, go to file. I put it on the desktop so I can find it. And let's see if I can, there it is, my chart. And I'm going to upload. And there, so I have that image there. So when I go back to my Google presentation and I go to insert image, I can select it in my drive and I have to find the folder. Now I've created a subfolder for my project in this folder. So if I click on the left, this is where I put it. So my peeps project is my folder. Here's my graph and I'm going to select. So there's there's that. Now I could use that and I could insert um, either text, just type the text in here. Um, and I could create a text font, that sort of thing. Or another option for text, I'm going to hit delete, is to insert um, its word art. And you could do the same. It has a little more options. There's so many option, uh, possibilities for, and I don't need this other box, so I'm going to do that, for, for creating these um, infographics. So just find a font that you think fits what you're doing. I might even give it a little quirky angle. Now that's pretty bland. So what I want to do, I think I'm going to play around with those other images that I had. So I insert, so I could either go to insert image or click on this icon and I had uploaded pictures of other peeps. So here's a blue peep and because I, I know the graph um, oh, excuse me. Then I'd bring in the picture of the yellow peep and you could resize them 
to represent what the graph is showing instead of showing the graph or you could just leave a little graph under here to show the percents uh, and bring this if you right click on this in order and bring it to the front um, so I, again this is very simplistic but it gives you the idea of how we might create a quick visual infographic again this is an introductory uh, it's not meant to create a professional full-blown infographic, but this is a simple, uh, very simple uh, e example of one. So here I'm going to, um, what I could do if I want to use it somewhere else, I could go to File and I could download it as a an image, a JPEG, and I could put it put it in uh, another document if I had a Google uh, if I was making a report or a Google document or another thing I could do if I go to my my blog I'm, first you want to publish it so I'm going to file I'm going to publish it to the web and start publishing and hit OK and again here's the embed code and here's your size so I'm going to make it a little smaller to 400 and there's only one page so it's really not going to and I'm going to copy that right there, control C, the embed code. I'm going to go to my blog and I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to HTML. Oh, we could have tried it. Actually, we could have tried the other graph too. Let's try that too. But So I'm going to go paste the code there and I'm going to click back here. Now remember, there it is. So it's, it's, it's a, it doesn't really work very well. I think I'm going to put the, I'm going to go back. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to save it and I'm going to go back to this, I'm going to close and I'm going to actually take, um, let's take, I'm going to insert um, some more word art and I'm going to take 70% enter that and I could do here, control V, it makes a copy and then you double click on one and you just change the amount, so 30% and so it's the same so that way you have the same font and size. You don't have to readjust that. And I could actually get rid of my graph. Or I could leave it a tiny little one that I might want to leave just for information later. And peep favorites. So here then we've got a little infographic. I'm going to move that up. There we go. So now it's now it, I'm going to click. It saves itself. And now if I go back to Blogger and I'm going to refresh this, there it is. It automatically. So I, whenever I change that in in my uh, slide presentation, I don't have to come back and work on this at all. So I'm going to click publish, and here again I can share it with our our Google community by clicking in here CCV find the one with the image and hit discussion and there it is and you can make a comment up here and then share I'm not going to do that right now but that's what you're going to do so if you have any questions let me know